Yeah, welcome to my channel. We are going to be continuing with our topic which is time series and in this video we are going to look at the decomposition of time series. Yeah. There are two models that are used in the decomposition of time series into components and we have the additive and then the multiplicative model. Ad additive it comes from the word adding. Multiplicative, it comes from the word multiplication. Yes, so we have the additive and the multiplicative model. First, we shall look at the additive model. These, assu these assume the summation of all the components of time series. Remember, in our previous video, we had four components. We had the circular trend, which is T. We had the seasonal, the cyclical, and then the irregular. So... The additive model, it assumes the addition of the four components. So, y is equal to t, which is trend, plus seasonal, plus cyclical, plus irregular. So, we just add the four components of time series, and that is the additive model, whereby y is time series or the variable under study. C is trend from the formula that, that we've seen. C is, I mean, T is trend. S is seasonal. C is cyclical. I is irregular. Assumptions of the additive model. It assumes that all components are independent from one another. Like, they are all on their own. They do not affect each other. The cyclical does not affect trend. The seasonal that does not affect irregular like that. So they assume that all components are independent from one another. Then components are absolute quantities expressed in original units. They take both positive and negative values. When one component is missing, it assumes the value of zero. So if if they if they only give you three components in the question. The component that is not given, you put that as zero. You do not look for it. So any component that is missing assumes the value of a zero. If they don't give you trend, it becomes zero. If they don't give you cyclical, it becomes zero. And that is the additive model. It, it assumes the summation of the four components of time series. Then the multiplicative model. It assumes the product of all the components of time series. Product is like multiplying. So it assumes the multiplication of all the four components of time series. Therefore, y is equal to t times s times c times i. And in this model, it is only the trend component, which is expressed in the original values, whether the seasonal, and cyclical values are expressed in relative percentages. So it is only the trend that is expressed in its original value, but the seasonal and cyclical that are expressed in percentages. Most time series confirm to multiplicative model. So it is the multiplicative model that is common. Yeah. When one component is missing, it assumes the value of one. So here, when one component is missing, we put there 1. Because if we put there 0, since it multipl it's multiplication, we shall get the answer as a 0. So in multiplication model, if one component is missing, it assumes the value of 1. If t is missing, it becomes 1. If c is missing, it becomes 1. If i is missing, it becomes 1. If s is missing, it becomes 1. And that is the multiplicative model. It focuses on the multiplication of the four components of time series. So we are going to look at the measurement of trend. How we measure the trend. The trend we, we, we say it is the irreversible movement without going back. 
measurement of a trend, how do we measure the trend? There are several methods that can be used in measurement of trend. We have the selected points method, the semi-average method, the moving average method, the least squares method, and then the freehand method. Freehand method is the one that is for plotting. Then the least squares method is the one that we are going to focus at. So we shall look at the least squares method because it's the one that we are going to use in our time series that we are going to calculate. So least squares method, most commonly method used to measure trend is the most common method. It is given by a straight line whereby y is equal to a plus bt. t is for time. Where y is the variable under study, a and b are constants or coefficients, and t is the time or period. So we, we calculate for time series using this squares method, using this formula, y is equal to a plus bt. Whereby, we calculate for b using the formula summation yt out of summation t squared. Then, we calculate for a using the formula summation y out of summation a. And that is the least squares method. We are going to have an example in the next video. Thanks for watching.